Hey everyone, here we are on the third week of DC December. So for this next roster of villains, we're going to be stepping into the not so distant future of Batman Beyond. Now, as far as for the refreshment criteria, be sure to look at the first video for details. But for now, let's begin with number 10, the Brain Trust. While others can only tap into 10% of their brains, we can go deeper. It's what separates us from them. So Brain Trust, they're a big deal because they pop up a lot in different shows. <laughs> yeah, as far as for like, uh, I guess, cultists or like secret organizations, they're quite unique where it's not just like, you know, simple like ninjas, ni knives and blades. Like these are people like with very unique, um, I guess, psycho abilities where it's like mental projections, creating fire blasts and even invulnerability. They're kind of like an evil X-Men in a way. They don't have as big of like an impact on the personal lore of anything like, like, um, you know, some of these other guys on the list are like the guy who killed Terry's dad or like <laughs> things like mm -hmm. that that have like a much more uh, weight to them. Uh, I think these guys are just probably made the list because of how cool they their powers look and, and feel. The uh, the episode uh, that they're in, which escapes me at the moment, Mind Games, is uh, one of the best looking Batman Beyond episodes, especially the scene of Terry fighting the albino in the, the just abandoned room or whatever that is. <laughs> but that whole sequence is really good and it's a very memorable uh, visual episode. So just saying, he was a sweet kid in Justice League Unlimited. That was the episode, Double Date. It's kind of weird that that's one of those things that they never actually talk about on screen. They never say, like, I mean, his, they say his name is Edgar in the Zeta Project appearance. Mm -hmm. But other than that, they never say, like, hey, that kid from JLU, that's the same guy as this, like, outright. It's one. Of, it's a very rare occurrence of, like, the fans having to actually, like, be, like, paying attention to get a thing. Usually they spell it out a little bit more than that. <laughs> Yeah, and they also Whoa. don't usually make references to Batman Beyond as as obliquely as as that in the or the Zeta Project, and then they pop up again for um, a couple issues of the Justice League Beyond story arc. They had like Billy Bats and Billy and Mary were kids in the Brain Trust. Wait for Justice League Beyond, like when when they'd be like adults at that point. You Apparently would think not. <laughs> Billy yeah. Batson stayed a kid. Yeah, that's never really explained. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> not in not in the Beyond books. Yeah, I think it's telling that we don't have a ton to say about these guys. Uh, we're just going off on other tangents that are related <laughs> to these guys. But yeah, as far as for other members beside Edgar, yeah. there was um, I think her name was Bombshell. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then the Invulnerable Man, pretty good name. It's mind over matter. I hate it when you blitz me like that. Now for number nine, the Jokers. <laughs> Evening, boys and girls! Who's up for some laughs? They should be <laughs> higher, don't you think? I think in general, the gang as a whole, I agree with them being this low on the list. I think if you were talking about just the ones from Return of the Joker, they'd be a bit higher. Mm -hmm. But the gang overall is like, it's a cool concept. It's very Dark Knight uh, Returns-ish with the Kinda, mutant gang or yeah, the Batman, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Uh, and I really like the idea that instead of there just being like future Joker, it's like gangs have clung on to past characters and, and are trying to live up to what they stood for at the time. Uh, and the Joker was obviously a very famous guy in present day and did a lot of terrible things. So it makes sense that all the all the uh, youths, the rebellious youths, <laughs> would want to be <laughs> following in his footsteps. His, they want to join an inclined insane clown posse. That's yes, they did. <laughs> I do appreciate that the, the head like most Joker looking Jokers guy, J Man, uh, mm -hmm. is voiced by Bruce Tim. That's always been fun. He gets to play a much more animated character than they usually. They'll, they'll give him like random yeah. police officer or something. Yeah, he does a pretty good impression. And I like the episode where they steal a government vehicle and go on a joyride, causing all kinds of havoc. Yeah. And there's that split, like, second of a frame where you see this dead body in a ditch and it looks yeah. like the Joker's suit, like the classic Joker. Yeah, it makes you wonder for where they are, if they were nearby the old Arkham Asylum building. But I like what, with what they did with, with the Joker's gang is that it's not just like one particular group. And not just even with Return of the Joker, where we see like Bonk, Ghoul, and the D-Twins, obviously. But we also get a, another group in, I think the episode's called Agenda, which was led by... Oh yeah, 
the Michael Rosenbaum guy. I can't remember his name. <laughs> terminal? Yeah. Is it Terminal? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Ter- terminal. Oh, Do- yeah. Doing his not Lex Luthor voice. In the um, Batman Beyond uh, comic books, there was a Joker King who was actually Dana's troubled brother who's in and out of juvie and gets involved with the Jokers and becomes their Joker King. That was uh, your joke. Crazy. King. I'm not. No. But that was a crazy story arc. Gave a lot of depth to Dana and her family, so that was kind of cool. Well, what I like about the Joker's gang is that they it's very fitting that like the actual Joker, as we kind of get into the most in Return of the Joker, he's having a hard time. Like He, he sees himself as a lot bigger of a presence than he truly is like he he is a very like the the real joker was a big deal and you know killed a lot of people and caused a lot of mayhem but he sees himself his ego he sees himself as a lot bigger than he truly is like in terms of strength against batman kind of a deal like he's Mm -hmm. more just dealing with his own shit and putting it out on batman and the joker's gang is kind of fittingly uh similar where they think of themselves as this like the coolest thing ever like oh man we're the, we're just like the joker we're so awesome but they're so small in comparison to even the joker himself uh yeah. and and they like when they show up at wayne manor and we're the jokers and sure you are says bruce wayne uh and i always i've always wondered like i assume that the joker's return you know it was on the news it was known citywide and we only ever we never see like the reactions of the you know kind of B and C level Joker's characters. I've always wondered what like what they thought of that. Like you're kidding me. Well, why are we even doing this? <laughs> or if they would think it was really cool and try to find him and all this stuff. Like that kind of would have been a fun scene in the movie to have them all like show up. Like oh, you're back. Let's let's go. And he just like kills everyone or something. Yeah. <laughs> like so what are you thinking? This, you're not like me or whatever. So yeah. Yeah, that would've been great to see like if he like raised like a whole army to have like all the gangs under his rule. Like, you know, that would Yeah. That's what the Joker King did. Dana's brother. <laughs> we're not ta- we're talking about the show. I know. Ted. They're definitely quite intimidating in some episodes, but most others, they're basically just punching bags in a way, even for old Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I yeah, was just, just thinking about like during uh, James and I's uh, when we did the Batman Adventures Continue season two. No, it was season one coverage. Um, we looked a lot into like the Joker. Even back then, still has a gang of clowns, and we did a lot of research mm-hmm. figuring out like, okay, this type of clown is the sad clown based off this 1930s like uh, comedian. Do it. I don't know. There was just a whole yeah. bunch of different types of clowns, and they all were rooted in some sort of historical or pop culture I think I think the Joker's gang tends if if we looked into them I'm sure we would find similar stuff uh, similar visual uh, cues from famous clowns yeah it's and it's always been like that even back to like the new Batman adventures you have your like three stooges true and even with uh, Joker's own um, Joker gang you got like a ghoul that's pretty much like scarecrow based the D twins based off the Raggedy Ann dolls wolf you know pretty much hyena which you know that's too crazy scary. hyena boy yeah i feel like chucko is kind of just the like horror movie uh kind of guy like a jason well, kind of guy <laughs> john wayne gacy maybe yeah that's probably more like yeah. uh, <laughs> the tank top and hairy arms and stuff yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah he's got dozens of bodies under his floorboards i'm sure yeah and then he gets I- a cool little uh bb8 ball body in <laughs> <laughs> justice league unlimited <laughs> right. and a double bladed lightsaber <laughs> Yo, that's right. That group definitely got to be seen again, and they all got mod up after um, yeah. they stopped that uh, episode where there's a gang where they had all those modifications. All Batman had to do in Justice League Unlimited was just run up to Ghoul and go, April Moon, and then it would it'd fall apart. We don't have the April Moon gang on our list. Sorry, everybody. I know you were looking forward to us talking about the April Moon gang. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess we are anyway. That's not funny, man. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned as tomorrow we'll continue with our list for the week. Also, be on the lookout for the upcoming Multiverse fundraiser on January 20th to the 22nd of next year. And click on the link to check the newest series, Anonymous, at their website and see its first two episodes for free. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content, as more will come on DC December.